Welcome to EdTech Hustle. Today I'm going to show you the easiest and most user-friendly way to create a podcast with a program called Adobe Podcast. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you can do is go to podcast.adobe.com, create a free account, and you should have access to several different tools through Adobe Podcast. And you can see some of the tools at the top right-hand side. To create a podcast, we're gonna go right over here to where it says Studio. And once you get into Studio, we're going to select New Project. So this is an extremely simple interface for creating a podcast. It really doesn't look too powerful, but I think as I go through and I create the podcast, you're gonna see, you can see there's only like three buttons to the side here and a recording section below. So the first thing that you need to create a podcast, you don't need it, but it kind of helps, is to have your own script. So here is my script right over here to the, to the right that I'll be reading in one second. Now, before I get started with creating my podcast, I just want to select which microphone I'm going to be using. So I'm going to select this, and this is the microphone that I'm talking with you right now, the uh, Shure microphone, but I'm going to switch. I'm going to use my built-in microphone uh, in order to speak. You hear that the sound won't be as good, and I'm, I'm doing that for a specific reason. So let me bring my script back. Here it is. Right over here, I'm going to select record. Hi everyone, this is John Smith and welcome to the Daily News Podcast. On today's episode, I'll be giving you a quick one minute update on some top stories. Okay, so I'm going to hit pause and you can see my sound is now over here. So the way that Adobe Podcast creates podcasts is almost through stacking blocks together. Those blocks could be an audio recording like this one, or it can be music, which I'll be showing a little bit later. Okay, here we go. You can see now that that, that audio has been transcribed. I'm going to go ahead and just play this so you can hear it. Hi everyone, this is John Smith and welcome to the Daily News Podcast. On today's episode, I'll be giving you a quick one minute update on some top stories. Okay, it sounds okay, but one of the things that I notice is that because it's a built-in microphone and not a microphone like I'm speaking to you right now with, it doesn't quite sound as good as I want it to. The other thing you'll notice is that it takes quite a bit for me to get started. Here we go. Hi everyone. This Okay, so it takes a while before I get started. So what I can do first is do the editing through text. This makes it extremely easy. So this little dot right over here, it's like that pause. I'm just going to select delete. Okay, now let me play it. Hi everyone, this is John Smith and welcome. It got rid of that pause. It's perfect. I'm now ready to progress, but the sound still isn't quite as good as I want it to. One of the really awesome things that Adobe Podcast does, is it has a way to enhance the speech so it almost sounds like you're speaking in a studio. So I'm going to select that button. I'm gonna turn that button on as a filter. Now, let me go ahead and play this. Hi, everyone. This is John Smith, and welcome to the Daily News Podcast. Okay, did you hear the difference between how it sounded before? Hi, everyone. This is John Smith. And now, how it sounds with this filter. And welcome to the Daily News Podcast. On today's episode, I'll be giving you a quick one minute update. Sounds on much some better with that filter. It almost sounds like I'm in the studio. Okay, I've got that first part done. Now let me record the next part. So let me show you one of the things that I did when I read this part. I accidentally kind new of flubbed up budget, the script. Budget on the proposed new public transportation. Okay, so no problem. So all I did, I can just kind of go through and delete anything I don't want. Actually, let me uh, let me go ahead and undo that. Okay, now let me play. Proposed new public transportation budget. After a lengthy debate, the budget was passed by 
perfect. It sounds awesome. And now that section is done. So one of the other things that you can do in Adobe Podcast is add music. So I'm going to go and just select this option. You can see that there's a number of different choices for music that I can add. I can also upload my own audio if I want, but I'll just take this first one. Okay, I'm gonna hit the plus button, and now you're about to see the music show up right over here. I'm just going to take this, and you'll see that I can do a fade in and a fade out as well. And there also is a way that I can put this like right up here. This is going to be kind of like an intro song. So I've got my music, I've got my, my narration right over here. Let me go ahead and play this. Hi, everyone. This is John Smith, and welcome to the Daily News Podcast. Okay, so I've got that there. Now, let me just record the last part of my script. Okay, here it is. I concluded this last part right over here, and then I added my song again that I have in the, as the intro. I also have this as the outro. So let me go ahead and play this. This concludes our one-minute podcast update. Stay tuned for more news coming your way. Thank you for listening. And there we go. So I've got that short little one minute podcast. Now what I can do is select the download button at the top right hand side of the screen. I'm going to go and download this as an MP3 file. Okay, so now if I check my downloads, you can see I have the transcript of the podcast right over here. And I have the actual MP3. Here it is which I can then upload or share wherever I would like. So again, the program is called Adobe Podcast. You can sign up for free at podcast.adobe.com. This is an easy way for you to make a simple podcast, but one that I think sounds pretty good. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below.